everyone, it's Miss Kelly from the Wakanda Area Library. Today I'm here to show you what we're doing with this month's art to go kit. So this month we're making giant snowflakes. So in your kit you're going to find nine white paper bags and a sealed packet of glitter, so be careful with that. You'll need some scissors, a ruler, and a pencil would be helpful, but you, they're not absolutely necessary. And some glue. You can use liquid, liquid glue or a glue stick. Um, I like to use a craft glue, I think it works pretty well. Um, I have a couple of these clamps because it's going to help them dry tightly together. Uh, but if you don't have these, you can always use something heavy, like put a couple books on top of here, or even like um, a heavy pot or something to flatten it out like that. So let's get started. So you're going to take your bags and make sure that they're all facing in the same direction. So that means that the opening end is this way, and then that flat part is going to be facing down. Okay, so you're going to take your glue. And once you've got them all that way, you're going to take your glue and you're going to draw like a T on there. You're going to go right across like this and then right down the middle. And if you want, if you think it's helpful, you can go ahead and measure with your ruler to make sure you're getting that line exactly down the middle. It's about two and a half inches to the middle there. Okay, and then you're going to lay that next bag right on top of it. Okay, so you're going to make that line down the middle. Make your T again. And then across the bottom. All right, once you have all nine bags and you're gonna press down, you might get a little out the end, just make sure you clear that up. And like I said, if you have a clamp or something like this you can use. If not, just lay something heavy on top of it. I'm gonna do, push it down as much as I can. And then I'm gonna do this end too. And now we need to wait and let it dry completely before we move on to our next step. All right, so it's been drying for about a good hour now, so it should be ready for us to move on to the next step. It's pretty dry. Take our clamps off. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is turn this thing into a, a real snowflake. So you're going to take your ruler Kind of find that center point. So about two and a half inches. Okay. All right. And go up here, make a dot right here at two and a half inches. All right. And then we're going to come from the side and make a line all the way up to that center point. And you want to do it in the same spot. So go straight across, make a dot here, and then make that little kind of triangle at the end there. All right. So you're going to cut off, which that means not quite right. Let's check it. Yep. Okay. So this is going to be some tough cutting because remember, you're cutting through those nine layers. So I'm going to cut these corners off. And all the way through to the tip. If you're having a really hard time, you can kind of go through and go through one layer at a time. But I think if you just kind of hack away at it, you can get through there. Okay. Come back and get this side. Ugh, pretty tricky. There we go. All right, and now it's time to make our pattern. So if any of you have ever cut a paper snowflake, you know you kind of just can cut some diamonds or some little half circles or a square, any shape you want. Um, you can draw it out ahead of time with your pencil. Like you can go, I'm gonna make a diamond here and I want one exactly across. So you could even use your ruler and be like, okay, I want it to be right here. So I'm gonna have a diamond over here too. Okay, or you can, then you can do another one, you can do a circle like this. We're not going to cut down here. This is just too thick to cut. It's really hard. So you're going to kind of keep all your designs up here, okay? And remember, again, if it's too hard, go through each layer like this, okay? Just try and make them even. You can always trim it up at the end. Let's go ahead and cut those. All right. And I'm going to get this side. You could even put some cuts in here if you want. I'm going to leave mine like it is. I kind of just like the point at the end. Okay. 
you're really struggling to get through this thick paper, like I said, either go through a one layer at a time or you can ask for a little bit of help. This is pretty tricky to cut through this thick of paper all at once. I think you guys can handle it though. All right, now one more step. This is entirely optional. You have your little glitter bag here. I'm gonna do this, I think it's kind of fun. So you're going to take some glue. You could do it with a glue, just a glue stick if you wanted. Um, I have a glue stick here too. You could just do like this on the edge. Put it just on the edges here like this. This will dry clear. Okay, go all the way around. Kind of, you can get in your cuts too, it's kind of cool. All right, go all the way to the end. You don't have to do this end piece here, okay. I'm using glue stick stick because it will dry a little faster than the liquid glue. You could also just brush that on. All right, then I find the easiest way to do this is kind of just pour this out into a pile right here on your protected surface, and then I'm going to dip it right in there like this. I'll lay around. Yeah, even that spot like that when I got on the inside there. And then I'm going to have to wipe it in there. Just tap off your extra. Make sure everywhere you get your glue on, you put your glitter. Just push into it. Kind of make it into a pile again, get back to the center. And then just keep dipping it in there. And I noticed that it didn't get quite all the way through the ends. So I'm going to do a little bit more glue stick on the outside edge here. And this one didn't get some either. Just keep bringing it back into a pile like that so you can dip it. And if you're like me and you used the glue stick, it'll be dry pretty quick. So you can move on to the next step almost right away. All right. It's another reason why it's really important to cover your work surface all that glitter. It'll be a lot easier to clean up when you can just lift up the paper like this. Okay. So we're gonna do it right now. I'm gonna slide. This is not my first snowflake today, so yes, there's lots of glitter at my house. All right, move all our things out of the way here. All right, so. Once your glue is dry, however you chose to apply it, you're going to take, I'm just gonna grab the two outer bags like this and start opening them. Keep pushing. There might be a couple spots that you see. Don't don't just pull really hard. You gotta go gently and spread it apart because it might be, see how there's a little spot that's kinda gotta pull the glue apart a little bit. And bring it all the way around till they meet in the middle. You see, and over on the other side, yeah, I can see the couple steps. Kind of maybe stretched apart a little bit there. Then. All right, just kind of stretching it so you can get all the way around. And the best part actually is if you hold it from this thicker base down here, it's easier to manipulate a little bit. Move it around. You can see that this one's kind of stuck together. It's going. You're gonna find in the most spots, kind of at the end, some of them get a little stuck together in these pockets here. You just kind of have to open them up. All right. This is why we did that thin T on the end. We didn't want to get too much glue in there. Otherwise it kind of seeps over and makes it too hard to make it into its fan. All right, and get these two bases together. And at this point, you could do a little glue there. You can do one of two things. You can get our glue back out and glue that same way. You're gonna kind of make your T line down again. Or you can even staple it. Just go back and make sure all your sections are open. Careful, it's fragile. You don't wanna tear it. You can just, yeah, you can kind of tell which ones are gonna come apart and which ones aren't. There we go. I also want to hang mine, so I'm going to make it all around. That's what that ribbon is for in your bag. 
can see. This point, oops, I got it pulling a little hard there. Is it, at this point, if you wanted to add some more glitter, go back and put some dots on and put some glitter in, you can. And I'm gonna put my, a little bit of a glue down here and I'm gonna use my glue stick so that we can put it together right away. All right, and bring it all the way around. Put your hand in there and squeeze it together. Okay, I just did my glue stick so it's fast so you guys can kind of see the finished product right away. All right, and then I'm going to take my ribbon there we go, and put it through. Okay. So you want to do it through a thick spot like here at the end where we just did it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors. I'm going to poke a little spot in there with my scissors. And I'm going to slide my ribbon right through there. I hope you guys had fun making your giant snowflake. Send me some pictures so I can see how your finished product came out. And keep an eye out for next month's art to go. Bye now.